From NewsBTC, this is Chris Lewis, and I'm looking at Ethereum. Ethereum dollar, as you can see, fell a bit during the day here on uh, Thursday. It looks likely that we're going to find support near 650, maybe even 600. So be careful, be slow, and add to your position in small increments. Uh, once you start to be proven correct, then, of course, you can build up. Ethereum has fallen against Bitcoin to the 0 0.04 level. Uh, it is a little oversold short term, but... Uh, I think we need to more or less see what's going on in the crypto space overall. It looks like it wants to go higher, but cryptos in general seem kind of soft. So you may want to avoid this pair, at least in the short term, as it tends to be a bit exaggerated in its moves. Look to Bitcoin as a uh, Bitcoin dollar as perhaps a little bit of a hint as to where to go. Um, but in the meantime, I think we're probably going to stagnate. From NewsBTC, this is Chris Lewis, and I'm looking at Ethereum. Ethereum dollar, as you can see, fell a bit during the day here on uh, Thursday. It looks likely that we're going to find support near 650, maybe even 600. So be careful, be slow, and add to your position in small increments. Uh, once you start to be proven correct, then, of course, you can build up. Ethereum has fallen against Bitcoin to the 0 0.04 level. Uh, it is a little oversold short term, but... Uh, I think we need to more or less see what's going on in the crypto space overall. It looks like it wants to go higher, but cryptos in general seem kind of soft. So you may want to avoid this pair, at least in the short term, as it tends to be a bit exaggerated in its moves. Look to Bitcoin as a uh, Bitcoin dollar as perhaps a little bit of a hint as to where to go. Um, but in the meantime, I think we're probably going to stagnate. 